Are you thinking about moving to Spring Hill, Florida? If so, you're going to want to stick around and check out this video as we're going to show you around Spring Hill, Florida and show you what the area has to offer. And we're getting after it right now. If this is your first time on the channel, make sure you like, subscribe, and tap that bell for notifications so you can be the first to get those market updates on Spring Hill, Florida. My name is Debbie Diaz, and this is Andre Diaz with the Diaz Group at eXp Realty. We get calls, texts, emails every day from people just like you, and we absolutely love it. Whether you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days, shoot us a text, give us a call, or send us an email so we can help you make that smooth move to Spring Hill, Florida. As we said, we're sitting here in Spring Hill, Florida. We're about 45 minutes from Tampa Airport, but just about 55 minutes, just under an hour to downtown Tampa. Mm -hmm. Spring Hill is known for retirees, if you will. Not everyone's a retiree in Spring Hill, but it was known for that originally. It, it really built out, as far as I can remember being growing up in Tampa, it really built out in the late 90s, mid 90s, and early 90s. Early, all the 90s. <laughs> it built out in the 90s and it still continues to build. It, it is an established city. We've, it has everything that you will need. You can see that there's a public shopping center right behind us. There is a Starbucks right up the road there. Just quick lube, quick jiffy lube. Uh, you have gas stations. You have just about everything you will need in Spring Hill, Florida. It has its own we have two large hospitals okay. um there are a lot of doctors and medical facilities around so you you do have everything that you need as far as restaurants hospitals doctors grocery stores but if you like to shop and you're looking for a mall spring hill does not have a major mall you're going to be heading into um, probably either wesley chapel or um, close to Tampa International Tampa. to get to yeah. your, your major malls. Yeah, but it does have franchise restaurants. I mean, you are gonna run into some of your- Applebee's. Your Applebee's and maybe uh, Chili's and things like that. Right. Our kids actually went to school, uh, high school in Spring Hill, Florida, mm -hmm. and even though we lived in Tampa, we wanted them to come to a special uh, uh, private school here in, in Spring Hill. Um, it has a lot to offer. You get, you're gonna get a lot more home for your money th than in Tampa because you're that pro that distance away, right? But um, let's get after it. Let's go check out some of these homes and show you what Spring Hill has to offer before we get rained on. <laughs> let's go. Here we are at stop number one in Spring Hill. As I said earlier, Spring Hill is pretty affordable, so you can find a lot of smaller homes. Just take, for instance, this house. It's only a two bedroom, two bath home, and it's currently on the market for 265,000. Yes, that is correct. 265,000 in Spring Hill, Florida. Now the home behind me um, was built in 1980. It's about 1,200 square feet. And like I said, it's only a two bedroom, two bath home because back in the day, this was a, uh, a hot spot for snowbirds and for retirees. So you can find a lot of homes in the area that are smaller. You're gonna have lower electricity bills, lower water bills, things like that. The nice thing about this area, and it's pretty common in Spring Hill, is that there's not too many gated communities with tons of amenities master planned like that. So you can get into a house without paying a lot of the HOA fees, not paying a CDD fee, so your taxes are gonna be lower. Again, just really, really affordable here in Spring Hill. We're gonna go take a look at another house in the 300 price point. So you can see what you can get in Spring Hill. All right, and here we are at house number two in Spring Hill. So this house is listed at 305,000. It is a three bedroom, two bath home, just under 1900 square feet. So as you can see, you can get a pretty decent sized home right in the low 300s, 305 to be exact. This particular home was built in 2005 and it does seem to have a very nice um, large backyard 
fully fenced in. It is a corner lot, so you do get a little more um, land when you do have a corner lot. And just to give you an idea, again, I had told you earlier that you don't really have too many HOA type communities. You can actually find a lot of places where there are just one-offs being built. So like right across the street, you can see where there's a brand new construction home going up. But again, we're not in a new community where you're going to see a lot of new construction. But Spring Hill is um, pretty known for that. You can go up and down all the streets in Spring Hill. And like every other block, you're going to find just another house coming up randomly. Um, again, not in the community. All right, we're going to go check out house number three before the rain sets in and just totally ruins my hair. Let's go. Right, and here we are at our last stop in Spring Hill. The home currently behind me is on the market at $424,000. And as you can see, it is a pretty large home. Just over 2,400 square feet, and it is a four bedroom, two and a half bath home, and it was built in 2005. So as you can see, you can get a good chunk of house here in Spring Hill definitely affordable. I'm gonna wrap it up because I have been getting um, rained on quite a bit and I just wanted to touch on a few key, uh, key things about Spring Hill. So I do have a friend that last month I helped him purchase a house here in Spring Hill. He would send me like 10, 12 houses a week and every time I would go and run comps and look at them, almost more than half of the homes happen to be sinkhole remediated. So that is something that I do want you to keep in mind when you are looking for homes out in the Spring Hill, Brooksville area. This area is kind of prone to sinkholes. It's more of a, what do they say, sand-based soil. So for those reasons, it does become um, high activity in sinkhole. Now, a sinkhole remediated house, not a big deal. A lot of people will even say um, they rather have a sinkhole remediated house because they know that cement has been pumped in, the house has been pinned, and they know it's gonna be stable and set. But a lot of times you wanna check. You wanna check to make sure a bank will lend on a home that's sinkhole remediated. You also wanna make sure that you can get homeowner's insurance. And then when you do find the homeowner's insurance, you also want to make sure that it's not astronomical because of the sinkholes. And a lot of times agents and companies will do a radius, maybe like within a half mile or a quarter of a mile to see if there are any homes that are sinkhole remediated or that active sinkholes going on before they do issue a policy. So that's something that I did want to keep in mind um, and let you know about Spring Hill. Again, great area. It's about 45 minutes north of Tampa. You are going to have shopping around you, grocery stores, um, things like Home Depot, Lowe's. You're going to have major hospitals. You're going to have doctors, dentists, child care, all that kind of stuff. But for major malls and upscale shopping, you're not going to have that in the Spring, Spring Hill area. We're in Hernando County, which is close to the Gulf Coast. So your beaches are going to be close, that will be close to you. It's going to be Hernando and Cloak Key, Hudson, things like that. But you're going to be a good distance from the St. Pete Clearwater beaches, which are a little more south, and that's probably going to be about a good hour, hour and a half to get to from the Spring Hill location. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to myself or Andre. Make sure you like, see our description below, tap that bell, and we would love to help you make that smooth move to Spring Hill, Florida.